Osobolo kubenga lono kusinga wo. Amen. Amen. Bala musiza muri nyali yamu kama face. I greet you so much in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Chuki da muno tomo kuata mungla na imubuzeko. Turn to your neighbor and don't touch them, but greet them. Imubuzeko. Salute them. Worship team. Worship team. Kama ba wamukisa. May God bless you. Kaba lekuereza. Thank you for ministering. Uh, let me request you to have your seats. This week I've not been around. training I was attending a certain training. training it was not any other training on or army or security. It was not for police or security or the army. training Bible. But it was a Bible training. I am thank God. I think you saw me yesterday uh -huh. wearing like a graduate, not so. So I thank God that I also accomplished that. And it was done well, I thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will see of its fruits in the days that are not so many. God is good. We want to bless the Lord for his goodness and his mercy. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't be here today. We have no doubt in that word. That grace no and love no and goodness and the wonderful plans no and the well wishing us no is your reason for coming on earth. No nene. And you became a great sacrifice e soka, that was first and that was the last. There is no other sacrifice that is to be offered for the life of man aside from your sacrifice. Jesus. We thank you for the sacrifice of life. We thank you for the sacrifice of righteousness. We thank you for the sacrifice of holiness. It, through it, we are healed. Through it, we receive life. Through it, we receive hope. And because of believing it, we live. And we are alive. And we overcome. And we go through the world. And we come to heaven. When even our names are written in the book of life. We thank you for those who didn't have fathers. You became a father to us. Those who didn't have a goal. No not accepted to be our goal. Those who are not accepted. No matter which are the level of being accepted. Those who didn't have a clan. Those who didn't have a tribe. Those who didn't have any help. Those who didn't have any advocate. No you also become an advocate no for us. Chika. You gave us a no tribe. You gave us a nation. Now we have a belonging. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. Through the spirit that you left unto us. And is our helper in such times. I pray that you speak unto our hearts. I pray that you speak unto your children. I pray that you speak unto your saints. And may your word be powerful. And may your word conquer. May there be rocks that split. May there be mountains that are moved. Through your word. May there be mountains that are May there be bodies that are filled up. May there be a special grace. May you be glorified and exalted through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You say amen. Thank you for maneuvering. Thank you for maneuvering. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. And may he do you well. Amen. Amen. Amen.
yange. We we serve together in the house of God. Musumba Jesse. Mukama bawo mukisa. May the Lord bless you. Thank you for serving the Lord. Mumazima no bwe sugwa. In truth and in sincerity. We glorify the Lord. Amen. Amen. I want us to dive in the word of God. To go in the book of Hebrews. Chapter 11. I want to talk about. As I'm still talking about things. I want to expound on it in such a way. I told you that faith. Its first pillar it comes from here. The second pillar of faith. Is what? Wangi? We introduction. It is here in the first place. 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 It is here in the Faith if you don't speak, the coldness will go through you. So even if you do not purpose to help yourself in the spiritual realm, if we preach together, you're going to get warm. You're going to be like as if you have a microphone. Amen. Amen. So we say the first key or the first pillar is hearing. Amen. Mukama face sunagamanti buli aino kut buli aino oh eh buli aino kutoa udio moyo cha kolachi. And the Lord said to whom was an ear to hear? What the Spirit says to the child. Tegeza watali kuulida. Meaning without hearing. No kiriza te kubera wo. Faith cannot happen. So we are gonna kuiga kuriza. If you want to learn how to have faith. Oteke lo tano kuiga kuulida. You have to teach yourself how to hear. Amen. Amen. Olumu na wagere ulugero. One day I gave you a story. Luensi awa one solo. Of an animal kingdom. One day, the chief, a chief leader in the animal kingdom was called the lion. He gave an announcement of a curfew. He said, hence from now, as it was during COVID, and to every animal, by 6 p.m., it has to be locked in its habitation. I want you to know the power in hearing. Every animal by 6 p.m. It should not go beyond that. It must be in its habitation. The one that will not be there is going to be eaten. The lion himself and the fellows were the ones that were doing the patrol. The word patro in Uganda is potolo. So I go to the Zirua. Yeah, the days is So a day came. They started their patrol. Six p.m. they were patrolling. The rats were already inside. And the bears as well. And other birds had entered. The lions and elephants were in their habitation. They were passing, and every animal was in its habitation. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So now, when they reached by the God's house, he was moving around. He was still loitering. And the elephant captured him. He killed him. And he told him, you are going, we are going to devour you. Because they are still patrolling. They made him being kept at the highness place. They knocked at the highness place. Please help us keep this God. This God is disobedient. So the hyena kept. And he looked 
at the God. He said, what can I have of this God? He was all anxious to have something. The appetite was high. And then I came into the highness mind. And said, let me eat the ears. Let me eat the ears. He chopped them and and fried them well. And he ate them. Then the lion came out and told him, give me my and fish. And he gave him my And he asked, where are the ears? Where are the ears? The the ears. The they were not there. They were there. He would have heard your announcement. Yeah. 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 The reason for him being killed in the middle of his life. And someone is able to hear through that ear. So because they didn't have ears. That is why they did not hear. And the lion said, you're right. And the hyena defeated the case. If you refuse to hear, they will be eaten. Now let me ask you. Faith comes through here. No kuri de chigambo chakato. By Jesus na gamba, e chiangu ne chirango, Jesus na chirango. And Jesus made the announcement. Muriari no kutwa uli ne. To whom has an ear may they hear? What the Spirit speaks. Oriye kuwa search. What will you give us? By Jesus kuri ya kuwa matu. They will eat your ears off. Atiba malebe wole resentu wagaina. And then they will defend themselves that you didn't have them. Banga singa wagaina wandi uli de. Because if you had them, you would have heard. Abo luga na bagalo. Church is said a kanisse uli de. It is hard for the church to hear. Amen. Church is said a kanisse uli de. It is hard time for the church to hear. Nabadde, je nabadde. I was where I was. Musome se ala musome se yatu yatu guzo bo tabo bono. And our disciple has told us these books. Yangu zaka tabo kano baka baba de la katuna ne benaka somi. As I was telling you. Benabadde benabadde impita mu. Mo content sizako. When I was going through each content, and I saw a topic that talks about faith. And I saw the words of the Lord that he used in this context was the is the word that I have ever said that one of the enemies of faith, the very first enemy of faith, is called fear. Everyone who is afraid cannot have faith. For faith requires someone who is bold. Faith requires someone who is determined. So, this is chapter 4. This is chapter 4. It has a topic that says, Oh, and fear. It has a topic that says, Oh, and it begins with the scripture in Hebrews chapter 11. Now faith is now faith is being sure of what we hope for and a certain of what we do not see. Uh -huh. Then, when he's starting the preamble of this topic, he calls out certain characters. He calls out certain characters. Miles Monroe, the award he also gave. But let me quote this definition that Miles Monroe gave. When he was quoting it in this book, it is an absolute tragedy to lose a job. Mm -hmm. An absolute tragedy. Tragedy. Tika kuva kwa kwa sura mukati abaga kwenye nyokufiri wa mudi mu. A spouse. Okufiri wa muami. A child. Omuana. A home. Or business. Or business yo. But they are, uh, they are not the greatest losses <inaudible> one can experience. Sibi ebi singa. Yes. There are those that are greatest. But the greatest loss in life <inaudible> on earth <inaudible> is the loss of belief. When one loses belief, when one loses belief, one loses hope. When hope is lost, then purpose is concealed and meaning has no definition. That is how we explain faith. 
Mukama Ebazi. Praise God. Mukama Ebazi. Praise the Lord. Kati never gami to kiza. Kwa mukuri da. So I told you faith comes from here. Echo ne chimali liza. And I finished that. Echo kwe never gami to kiza. Kutandi ku. Secondly, I told you that faith comes through actions. It is the second place that faith starts from. If you fail to put your faith into actions, your faith cannot stand and it cannot react. You say amen. Praise God. The second, third pillar is confession. Faith has a third pillar or a pillar called okwatula. Okwatula. Confession. Let me first read these scriptures in Hebrews. Gundi ya feskwini teriko. Amen. Amen. I want to read the first six verses. In Hebrews 11. Okukiriza kwa kaka santi ya visubi wabidi tuukirida ka indi mubayi buliene yafe yotambula na umasimu. Okukiriza kwa kaka santi ya visubi wabidi tuukirida is the substance of the things hoped for and the evidence of the things not seen. Mm. Is the substance of the things hoped for. The evidence of the things not seen. Is the substance of the things hoped for. Mm. Is the evidence of the things not seen. Faith is the evidence of the things hoped for. And the substance of the things not seen. Verse 2. For by faith the elders obtained a good testimony by God. Verse 3. Verse 3. By faith we understand that all the worlds were framed by the word of God. And that the things that we have seen were made out of the things which are not visible. So that which the things which are seen were made out of the things which are not visible. First look at this verse briefly. To know that faith is of a great significance. To know that faith is so vital and important. To know that you greatly need faith. Tewali, I mean, ne katonda ye nini nini kwe ya kozesa okutondensi. Even God himself created the world through faith. Should I repeat it for you? To know that faith is so important. That's why that faith is of a great significance. To know that you need faith so much. Even God Himself used faith to create the world. There is nothing that is visible. You inclusive. That was created without faith. Come on, Ebazi. Praise God. You can't sure soka. John chapter 1, verses 1. The Bible says that all things were made through the word of God. In the beginning there was God, and the word was with God, and the word was God. All things were made by the word. Even though the Bible shows us that the word is Christ, but we are on the topic of confession. We are on pillar number three. Of confession. And God said, "Let there be." I'm asking. God said, "Let there be." When He said it, did He work on it? The working out came later on. Praise God. 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 A man was confessed, and then money is 
I pity someone who can receive anything, who thinks that they can receive anything from God when they have not taken a step of confessing it. Of course it is. Of course it is intimidating for someone to confess it is not that easy. It is so hard for a young lady to just confess out of nowhere that I'm going to get married. They have to make such confessions after someone proposing to them. And even when they're proposing, has taken some good step. Mm. Some serious step. But someone coming out of the, of the blue saying that me, me here I'm going to get married. My good brethren. Confidently. Confidently. I'm going to get married. You might not tell the people. But confess it upon yourself. Confess it upon yourself. It will not cost you anything. Declare it upon yourself. For sometimes we utter out our dreams and they bring commotion to us. When we confess it to the enemy, so faith comes to hear, hearing the word of God. Action. Faith is there. Am I clear? Then without confession, faith cannot work. Start getting used to confessing and confess positively. Praise the Lord. Be sure to confess it upon yourself. You saw that faith is the substance of the things hoped for. Even though they are not yet visible. Of course, can be faith too. Genuine faith. Genuine faith. Must be that whatever you're believing for is not visible. Even though you're believing for something, it is not visible. But it is believing that it's going to be visible. Begin to make money. 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 Chicha kugwa, chicha kuterera, chicha mula ba, chicha muzara, chicha mufumbirwa, chicha muasa, chicha genda yo, chicha kuangula, chiguli yangu chila ba, matoka yangu yiyo. Enkube kuba. Toina watambulera. Toina watakagari. Na yori mkuatula. Nkuba nkuba. Nkuba lero. Nkuba nencha. Nkuba noko sencha. Neto kina kukuwa na kuzona. Motoka ya hange njiraba. Otambulo vuma. Nenge nkube kuba. Gama nti amina. You say amen. Faith sees what is invisible as visible. They confess them as in reality. You say amen. Amen. If God himself had to confess. By faith. And the world were free. By faith. And the trees By faith. And the animals were created. By faith. And the sea parted. And there was a dry land. And there was a bang. 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 By the way, let me tell you. If you want to know how the world was void, you should get a chance and walk by the sea. Why are you walking by the sea? Not the things are being on the shore. No, get a distance. You sail on the sea over a good, some good kilometers. Or in a water, you reach a certain point, and you just see the waters when they are all connecting with the waters. Not so. But make sure that you are not going to deep water. How many have ever moved the water? Not the water. 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 
Can I take a digata among a monument and chizikiza? Just even imagine darkness mixed up in Tambuli Tambuli Just imagine walking on the sea at night. Umazo Tambuli Quechiro. And you sail at night. In Sibu to a yay neguru. That is how the world was. Katnanaya Tower and Belegamant. Wabedewe Banga, Wakatiwe Guru Nes. God created a firmament between the heavens and the earth. By what? Orachi. By faith. Oroku Kiriza. Amen. That is why. That is why. There used to be a gap. Between God confessing and whatever He has confessed be made manifest. Who knows the gap? There was a gap of a full day. He used to confess in the morning when it is dawning. And the Bible says it was evening. And he saw that what he had confessed was true. In other words, it has been created. And then evening came. And then morning came. And morning he created another thing through confession. Bozuku Kanga. Every time you wake up, every time you wake up, confess some positive words upon your life, through your life, and upon your destiny. By the end of the day, you would have started to see the signs of the things that you confess. Now you confess. Never wake up anyhow. You copy from God. Copy from God. You copy from God. You copy from God. You copy from God. You see if you can emulate things that are not even worthwhile. Mukope, mukope, mukope. Emulate him. He confessed words. And he saw them by faith. By faith. Confessed all the things by faith. You know why? Do you know why? 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 God himself confessed when there was no evidence of anything. Because God, if he had faith, then he had faith in who? Whom did he have faith in? Do you know what he was doing? He was having faith in himself. He was having faith in himself. So you have a chance to have faith in him who has faith in himself. He is the source of faith. Or in a chance, you have a chance. To draw your faith from the source who is your God. That is why those who don't have Him cannot believe in Him. For us, we have Him. We are at the source. Where we have to fetch from. Fetch your faith. You have an example. You have an example. That is why you should move in. Should I tell you the truth? The smallest thing I've gotten in my life. I've gotten it in the journey of salvation. And through faith in God. I didn't gain anything. There is nothing I've accomplished out of my strength. There is nothing I've achieved out of my own strength. There is nothing I've done out of my mind. Everything I've gotten in this life. I've just created it through confession. I've just confessed it. By the way, you don't even know. That the Bible says that you are small gods. That you are small gods. You are small gods. So the word God is the one who makes you a God. 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 Not making gymnastics by confession. So these are signs. And our body expression. It has to be working. What we call the action. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You wake up in the morning and you pack up your bag. Which even has drawn water. In your rental. 
You are believing to go abroad. You are believing to move in the And you start rolling it in the north. And you start clearing it. You pull up the bed. And I tell you how people go to the airport move. Those who are going to the airport, even they change their walking style. They even don't hold any other kind of bags or baskets. These days things have been subsidized. You can get a bag with four rollers. On only 30,000. You can buy it. When your intention is. Do it in the morning through your prayer. And you say I'm going to the airport. Now I'm going to the airport. And you, 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 you pull it up. And you start rolling it. By the way, even though you don't have it, even though you don't have it, you pretend like as if you have it. Imagine like you have it. Where are you going? I'm going to the airport. Where are you going? I'm going to America. I'm going to America. I'm going to travel nations. I'm going to Canada. I'm going to Canada. Amen. 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 Yeah, today. You confess them. Yeah, today. Confess them. Yes, we have a Zibwe. Praise the Lord. We are to live. Confess them. That is an action already. I mean, what is that? Listen. We are now a restart of the combinings. When you've combined all these three things, for what is danger? You've had the gospel. Amen. Amen. You are now confessing it as you are working out actions at the same time. You should put actions as well. Amen. Amen. Not every money that you earn, you have to just eat it. Get some money and you open up an account. Are you doing it? 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 Account has to always have money. It has to have savings. I was telling you of the pastor who is our disciple. We have an online class. We have revival. Of revival. Me, I hear to gamba, kubi gamba, you know. Nga ayogera ku faith, nga ayogera katonda ayogera. He was telling us about faith and he was talking about the God who speaks. Katonda ayogera. The God who speaks. Nga gamba unam kolumula changa taina sente monsa wonga. I told you that story on Sunday. Because you are too far from God. That is why the Spirit gives us everyone. And I'm repeating for you, it is not tiresome. First of all, you are too forgetful. Secondly, <laughs> you are not stable. The one who was here last Sunday will not be here this Sunday. We keep on recapping and recapping. But he tells God, Lord, we don't have anything to eat. And I know that your house is in abundance. Your food is in an abundance in your house. And the voice told him, go tomorrow. And you withdraw 300,000 from your account. And you come and you feed the people. When he knew that he had 8,000 on his account, he believed because faith we believe the invisible as though it is visible. He got his ATM. He got his ATM. He got and he put his ATM. He inserted it and he requested how much. Every time you insert the ATM card and you make a request of a withdrawal, that is not the ATM card. And if you keep on inserting it, they just capture it. Tedda. It does not come back. You are trying to, to disturb the machine. Praise God. When he made a withdraw of 300,000, he saw the machine counting. Before you can finish counting, you can hear it counting. And they, the money was given to him. And he said, but let me just tear up the balance. 
Then the balance was 8,000. But he had gotten the 300. He entered inside the bank. He asked for the bank statement. He told him you don't have money that is worth enough to be given a bank statement. He said, okay, you just show me my balance. I balance, okay, wrote down the balance, which is 8,000. Do me a favor to tell me yesterday's balance. And they told him even yesterday it was 8,000. Among the few you think I'm giving you a fiction. There's, there's one who thinks I'm just telling stories. I believe in such things because they are possible. But to our God, there is nothing that is impossible. There is nothing that is impossible. And to those who believe, all things are possible. Amen. The married verses 4. Can you forget, 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 by faith, Abel offered to God a, a sacrifice that is more excellent than Cain. Through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. I will show this no. as we continue no. with the first no. Righteousness is inclusive. Katonda bo ya tegeza kubida bo biye. Katonda bo ya tegeza kubida bo biye. God testifying of his gifts. And all work on the one kuba denga ya fa. And through it, though he being dead. Kupa de unyiri chulum. Oh, yeah, you get a bit. Okay, yes. New one quite then I have far a child you get. Through it, though he is still though being dead, still speaks. Oh, Lila. Oh, yeah, faith. Do you hear what faith is? Oh, fan was to get on go child you get. You die, but you keep on speaking. Oh, yeah, got a oh, yeah, got off. Oh, yeah, got off for it. Oh, the make us see Mukamula Mubarantu. You want to leave a legacy after your death? Call a year in Tabila Ganty faith. Yeah, we call. Do something that are made manifest that they were done out of faith. You want to die and you're forgotten? Die without showing any faith action. And here is the Hebrew. I will come back again. In time to come. I wrote them as a Kurumu Zikidisa. First of them is Abel. But general. The general was sick. But generally. Aha. But generally by faith. The generals of faith. They are here. They are very many. I will even add on to Those who are not even in the Hebrew. Some are in the Old Testament. Even most of them they are in the Old Testament. Every time I read the Hebrews, I start to read the Hebrews. Let us leave that alone. Praise God. I believe. Abel. By faith. Through faith. Now I will say that. I believe. I Abel. He gave God his first fruit without anyone teaching by him. faith. I speak to someone who cannot even give their first fruit after even being taught. The one who has not told me, he offered it through faith. I preach to someone who has not given their first fruit when they are being taught. The Abraham who has not told me, he offered it. Who among us two is greater than Abraham? Who? 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 Who?
Cain represents those who stand in unrighteousness. Many of you I'm seeing And even the tithes that you bring in, they are not full. They are not complete. You're the ones who decide what you're supposed to do. You cannot tell me that from January to December, you put in the envelope no one are going to tithe. From January to December, it implies that every month they earn 50,000 shillings. Is that possible? When you are a man and you have a wife and children, it means you do not, you've not yet given birth. 50,000 per month? Time is so of the maker. Six hundred thousand. When you earn six hundred thousand a year, even though you sell sweet bananas. Even though you fry cassava. Even though you fry genus. But this is my first question. Let me also give you some advice. Don't bother getting hold of an envelope. And you write, put in 5,000. And you write tithe. Me, even aside from God, even me who is not God, I can know that this person is deceiving me. And some of you, I'm soon calling you as an, as an individual. Do not deceive me. Because you're not deceiving me. You're deceiving the whole and you're deceiving yourself. These men used to do things by faith. That he got pulled, hold of his foot. Now his foot. What does the foot imply? It's the fullness. He gave him something with all his He offered something without plucking off anything. Eh? Back then, as we were still in school, and when you to help to keep your feet clean, even though it is cassava, and you help, you give it to someone to keep it for you. When you're in class, by the time they give it back, to you, they in the corner of their shop, they've been chopping, they've been chopping, they've been chopping, they've been chopping, they go and chopping, chopping on it. So even the body of 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 the Attention, attention, attention. Attention. Posing a magazine to one of the body of the body of the body of the body of the they chop off the side and they bring to God things that are not complete. May I beg? But Abel, what made him to be considered as one thing? Because he believed in God. From nothing. Praise and God. that was accounted on him for righteousness. God. He accepted his offer. Because of that, even though he died, he still speaks. Because even right above him, Abel still speaks. He still speaks. Agati. I have ever told you this word. I had gone for a burial somewhere in Ankole. Some guy was coming to give me a message. And one man rose up to speak and he said, "This man is not He said, "He said, "Banga bari bo gede nyoku mchalo yari afudenga mo gede kunyari mchala mulokole." Because they had spoken many words about the deceased. Ebi tu abantu. Abantu wa mubiyalo, oba mukali cha zezenja ulo, bibo gira kubantu, kali cha zina tazituwa langa bikulu. The things that other people talk about the deceased in different characters, other characters don't consider them to be important. Ni ibu wakina mbasi mubantu wa nabahime ni mange, nabanyankula bantu wa nitabu. But when you go to the bahimas, 
The testimony they give over there dead people is always amazing. Someone stood and said, this man has been so clean. You've gone, but you've been so hygienic. There they even give out a moment of praise. And here, yet here in the Central you region, you cannot raise up and you start praising the dead that they have been hygienic. The one you're seeing there, you've been a very good woman. You've been giving to people free milk. So the people from the cow clan, I never knew that even giving out milk at a frequency I thought everyone had it. I thought it as a testament that someone did it. But when I knew that I perceived that the people who have their own cattle, they always are stingy with milk. So someone who gives it out freely, they are unique. Praise the Lord. So as we are at that vision, we are praising the deceased. So we are talking about her. One man rose up and said that I have this idea somewhere, but let me also give it to you. He said that now since you are alive, when you know you are alive, now since you are alive, when you will be no more, those who will be still there, how will they know that you were there? Or that you once existed? Now since you are alive, when you will be no more, those who still be there, how will they know that you once existed? The men lived by faith. And they were talked about because of faith. Faith does not stop that you're, you're going to gain faith. faith yes, we a topic but your faith can be a topic of, on other people's lives. Because of your faith, you will not be destroyed. Praise God. We just continue with verse 5. By faith. By faith. Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. Not Arabica. Kubanga katonda ya mutu wala. Kubanga bo ya ringa tana mutu wala. Katonda ya tegeza ngabwe ya musima. And, and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was, he had taken him. God gave a good testimony of him that he was pleased with him. Let me continue with verse 6. Now the Lord has given us the power to give birth to the dead. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. This one is called Enoch. Those who are reading the Bible and they are saying that they are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. The Bible shows two people who did not see death. That is Enoch and Elijah. Elijah was taken by the chariots because of God's personal reasons. But specifically, Enoch. Enoch. The reason why he was taken. Faith. It was his faith. Who knows? That one day he confessed out of the righteous life he was and he said, the man who die, I'm not there. I, there is no grave for me. Me in the world, there is no grave for me. By faith. Maybe you confess that by faith. Pastor Lenny. Nobody tells us of his friend. Who normally confesses that they are going to live long until 400 years. We can see it as a hard thing. But why is it so hard before the Lord? 
They can be in that current state for 400 years without growing old. And they are as if they have been paused. And it's like as if they have been muted. And they just keep on increasing. They do not decrease, but they remain on the same state and same stature. Yet the friend does not believe that. He tells him, I'm leaving you. But one more. If men used to last long for 900 years, what is the 400? How about 400? What is the 400? You know that what made longevity to be reduced is because of sin? If, if you are ready to walk in righteousness, your longevity can be prolonged to any years you want. It ends with you to and me every day jo, I declare yes, that aside from Jesus coming, coming for rapture, I'm not going to die so soon. Have you heard? I'm still lacking only one thing. To put actions in it. The actions, it might even be exercise. <laughs> Amen. 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 Faith Bajatula. is confessed. I want to wind up. Faith Bajatula. Faith is confessed. We are done with Enoch. I will repeat this same thing. But one thing I wanted is the verse six is. Yeah. Without faith, without faith, it is impossible to be pleased with God. For he who comes to God must be pleased with God, and is the reward of those who diligently seek him. Kale, gamba nti amen. You say amen. Okuatula. Confession. Romans chapter 10 and verse 10. It says. But you say. Romans 10 10. Man, a simi yanga nyango kusinga gundi yamo kusinga computer yamo. Simi yanga di updated yamo kusinga computer zamo. Kubanga omuntu akiriza omuntu akiza na mutima gwe okwebo butukirivu For with the heart one believes unto righteousness Era ayatulana kamwa ke okulokoka And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation So you hear the power of confession Ti mubinte bya kulokola That in one of the things that saved Mwali muno okwatula Confession was a man Amen Amen Mwali muno okwatula Confession was a man Okukiriza Faith, then you know and then you confess. But we didn't know who They confess through faith. Ndokose. I am saved. Ngatwai na kaboni na uko na kariya ndokose. Without any physical sign that and you believe that I am saved. No kiriza. And you believe. Nti jo choya today. That whatever you confess. Chigena kuchu sobula mu. Is going to transform your life. No kiriza. And you believe. Nti jo choya today. Chigena kubula mu buta guwa. No kiriza. Nti jo choya today. Chigena kutoa kubuli chikwa chona ba chifini na buli chizambi chona. Is going to break all shackles and all yokes of your life. No kiriza. And you believe. Nti jo choya today. That what you confess. Chigena kuchu sama gani. It's going to turn around your destiny. No kiriza. And you believe. No kiriza. And you believe. No kiriza. And you keep on believing. Amen. Amen. To gende, to get gende. Let's rush first. Timothy, where you saw her? First Timothy. Sula Mukaga. Chapter six. On your coming up, bit. And verses twelve. No, your coming is that. And thirteen. Timothy, where you saw her, Mukaga. First Timothy chapter six. Kumina bili. Verses twelve. Ne kumina sat. And thirteen. Luana anga okuruana okurunji. Fight the good fight. Okoko kiriza. Of faith. Akati ulida kano. So listen to this. Okoko kiriza. Faith. Eh? Lutalo. Is a battle. 
Amen. Faith. The reason as to why you will be able to The reason as to why you will be to The reason as to why you will be able to Jesus tells Mary and Mary. 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 That the brother you are crying for is going to rise back to And he said, do you believe that? And the sister said, eh? yes, I know. I believe. But not now. If you are here, he would not die. <laughs> if you were here, he would have died. So I am here. Now. I'm the resurrection Zebulam. and the life. The one who believes in me, though they are dead, the one who believes in me will never die. And though they die, they will be alive. Listen to that science. Listen to that science. Listen to that science. Listen to the spiritual science. Listen to the divine science. Listen to the divine science. The one who believes in me will not die. And though they die, they will be alive. Meaning, it means they don't die. Even when they see us, death is not real death. Even when they see us, death is not real death. Praise God. Praise God. The Bible has said, fight the good fight of faith. Even though faith is a battle, but for those who fight they fight a good fight. Even though faith is a battle, they fight a good fight. Do you know what it means? It implies that every time you fight in faith, you are a conqueror. There is no one who fights in faith and they are defeated. You cannot fight in faith and you are defeated. And at the end of the story, when you are the conqueror, you have to do what? You know why faith is a battle? You know why you have to be a good fighter of faith? Because there is no battle that a warrior fights and they overcome and they do not receive a reward. Secondly, there is no battle that the warrior fights and they did and they are not given a higher rank. Here when the president was boosting his fighters in the bush, he used to tell them, and to every enemy you kill, you are taking their rank. So they used to look for the, the major general and they get their ranks from them and they put it on themselves. As a saying that shows have killed Goliath. And they said, Goliath has killed Goliath. David. He is one of the generals of faith. That is written in this book. And listen to this. If it weren't for killing Goliath, the rank of being accorded as a general would not be God, God given to him. And he killed Goliath by faith. Not by training, not by experience, not by, 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 by no, no, not by what, not, not by equipment, not by strong guns, but by faith. He won that battle. He hit the giant. Let me tell you, David. Let me tell you, my brother. If you want to be a giant, then you the warriors and enter every they die in faith. You want to kill great things? You want to kill great things? Let me also show you. you kill a great thing, the greater you become. They said that David killed the life. He did not remain the same. Amen. 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 Faith is the 
You should make your faith be boosted to a level. Dawudi atandi kalwa na nampologoma. David began by fighting with lions. Dawudi atandi kalwa na namalubu. He began by fighting with bears. Dawudi atandi kalwa na nidandika. He began by fighting for the sheep. Zachitawe. Of his father. Atenga buli kabuto. They were just little lambs. Dawudi atandi kalwa na nyabuzi wa chitawe buto. Buli nzabu ni chenye lo kutegeza wana. Listen to me very well. Dawudi atandi kalwa na nyabuto no. David began by fighting for the small things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time you stand in faith, do not mind what you're fighting. Even if it is so small, you are gaining an experience. Even if it is so small, you are being promoted to another level. The one who used to fight with lions, because of a lamb, he was promoted. He fought with a bear, because of a lamb, he was promoted. Remember very well the testimony he had before the king he told them that the ship of my king were attacked by a lion and he tried to take a lion and they came and picked it out of his king when he tried to fight against me when he tried to fight when he tried to fight when he tried to attack let me tell you you will not snatch out of the devil when he has not fight you are praying for God to help you. You can't realize that everything the devil fights with you. You also have to have power to fight with God. Because that power is a power. And every time you defeat it, no matter what level you've defeated, you are going to be promoted to another level. You are going to be promoted to another level. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Here there are people. There are people in this place. There is someone in this place. When they are in a battle. The spirit is telling me to tell you. Don't seize the fire. Don't seize the fire. Don't seize the fire. Don't seize the fire. What about promotion? There is a promotion coming. What about promotion? There is a promotion coming. When the devil attacks, you're privileged. Every time he attacks you, you're privileged. The devil is the one who creates a promotion. A situation for us to be promoted. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Luana. Fight. Now he may have been struck by a lion. He stood before the king and said, "You don't just see me. I killed a lion. And I made it leave the lamb of my father." Why does it mean? Why does it mean? My faithfulness. Why does it mean? Why does it mean? My faithfulness. Amen. Amen. More faithfulness. Better a good steward. Do not just take a faith. Musumba buli deko faith. Na yenge dako yane faith. I'm also going to have faith. Tani kano kote gerebi duungwe bi jikola. Start knowing the ingredients that make it. Better a good steward. Be a good steward. Better a good steward. Mokama. Before the Lord takes you at a level of fighting, you have to first fight for other people's battles. I don't know whether you've understood that. If you fail to be faithful in what is not yours, God will never take you to a level of being faithful in what is yours. Have you understood that? David fought for his father's flock. They were not his. They were not his. He was not even the heir to them. Mark that as well. They were not his. They were not his. He was not the heir to them. Because when God came to look for a hair out of Jesus' house, David was not among those who were qualified or considered. David was chosen by God. 
David was chosen by God. Not by his father. So he was not accounted as an heir. He should go to the heirs. He the heirs. He the heirs. He Even the pastor who is to give the heirs. He used to steal them and he said, oh yeah. The, the firstborn came in. And the prophet said, you should give them the front seat. <laughs> People who have the bowed heads are always wealthy. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Some of them are dressed now. Why are they wearing them? The servant of God sits there, yet they have four wives. If God is going to entrust you with great things, start to build into yourself a good steward. That should be a faithful steward. A faithful steward. A faithful steward. Start building that in your spiritual life and in your physical life. In the words you speak. In the way you perceive things. In the way you do your things. In the training I was in, there was a certain minister. When I take it into Java, I know where is our where is our under a certain pastor. Who I came to realize that wherever he's coming from, he's an associate pastor. After the, the, the teaching, the teacher would give us a chance to make us questions. His first question was, senior pastor wang, my senior pastor, he brought someone from the church. The treasury brought him money from the offertory. When they are demanding him, and he had failed to pay, he told them, hey, hey, that is the bad debt. a bad debt. Count it as a bad debt. And he asked, what should we do for this one? So the teacher is a good one. He said, I do not come. Why do you even do it at an extent of lending to the pastor? Why do you get to that extent of lending to the pastor? It means this one who has died is one of the people who pressurized the pastor. Because because he, that my pastor now hates me because I even apologize to him, but he still hates me. So what should I do for him? The next day, he brought the same issue pertaining his senior pastor. Then the last day, the Holy Spirit came upon the man of God. He said, I feel the Spirit to pray all of you who are ready and to also anoint you. When you came and you anointed us and you prayed for us, when you reached on him, when you touched him like this, he fell down. He started making certain gymnastics and crawling down. By the when the spirit of he said, I come from Nigeria. This one came and we gave him a hey, no, no, this one belongs to us. We cannot let him go. I came to realize that the things that are fighting against the senior pastor came from Nigeria. By the end of the story, they had even changed his name. You should be a faithful steward. If you will have a good faith, you should be a faithful steward. In all things you do. Start putting, uh, teaching yourself to have a life that has no blemish. That is when your faith will be genuine. Unlike 
unless you want a faith that has been hired from faith someone. Faith that will just be hired for faith certain words. And God does not and give you a faith. You should also not propose because that one becomes a snare. You tell God, I believe I believe you to make it. But the truth is, we take the same. What you wealth will become a trap for you. You become wealthy and you regret why. You receive that wealth. You start remembering the life you used to have. It was more dreadful that you could have a living. You start remembering the life you used to have. You could have a living. Now this wealthy life has made you backslide, and you've separated from God. So that is the faith. That is commercial. Commercial faith. You pang siza for a certain purpose. You've hired it for a certain purpose. Not me, I'm believing you. In actual sense, yet in actual sense, the remaining part of your life is to embrace the faith that God is to grant to you or even its fruits. Praise the Lord. You end up why, why you have a good end. My prayer for you is to have a good end. Always fight a good fight. A fight of faith. Lay hold of the eternal life. To which you are called. And have confessed a good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I've told you that the pillar is a good confession. Fight a good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. Lay hold on the, the eternal life that you were called and have confessed a good confession that fight a good fight of faith It is a battle. Even lay hold on to the eternal life. Trying to mean to everything you believe God for. Believe it while your life is under the insurance of the book of God of life. Amen. Amen. No, you are too low, quite too low, A good confession. Mama, so God, you are watching. The presence of many witnesses. Olo kumi nesat. Thirteen. Mkukuti la mama so la katon. I urge you in the sight of God. Ah, wabi ona obula mune Christo Yesu. E yategeza o quite too low, kurunje di ponti o pirato. Who gives life to all things and before Christ Jesus, who witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate? Who witness the good confession? If you want to know the good confession that gives us faith, you find it in the book of John, chapter 18, verse 13. You find it in the book of John, chapter 18, verse 13. You find it in the book of John, chapter 18, verse 13. You find it in the book of John, chapter 18, Pontius Pilate asked Jesus, Are you a king? Yes, and Jesus replied, oh, You get the You've said well. For that is what I am. That is what they call a good confession. Yes, that Jesus used to just speak the truth. Why? He used to speak the truth. First, I mean John chapter 18. Verse 36 and 37. Are you a king? For the accusations against him, they were saying that he was saying the king. He thought they were going to, he was going to deny it. He was going to deny it. You listen to the confession. Yes, Nadamunti. Oh, why Kabaka? Why Jesus answered that my kingdom is not of the world. Yes, my kingdom was not of this world. My servants were in the fight. Yes, Nadamunti. Oh, why Kabaka? Why Jesus answered that my kingdom is not of the world. Yes, my kingdom was not of this world. My servants were in the fight. Yes, Nadamunti. Oh, why Kabaka? Why Jesus answered that my kingdom is not of the world. Yes, my kingdom was not of this world. My servants were in the f
The Jews were good at Bali 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 Bali. They were empowered. Bali Bali Bali. They were masculine. They knew how to fight. They said, my man. I'm also his servant now. Yes, I am his servant. They said, you are a Jew. That is the only moment that Jesus speaks at his disciples as his servant. In every situation. Pray to God to give you a word that aligns with it. Situation. In every situation, may God give you a word that aligns with that solution. And when it even has a solution, may you also give you the name to that situation or a solution. Come on, Amen. Amen. My servant would have come. Yes, so and that I should not be delivered to the Jews. But now my kingdom is not from here. Pilate then said, Are you a king? Yes, Jesus yes. said, You said rightly. You said rightly. That I am a king. For this curse, I was born. Born again, why are you here? For this curse, I was born. It is not just concocted. I don't just put it on myself. I do not just put it on myself. I do not just emerge in my DNA. My DNA. My DNA. People concoct, concoct names on themselves. You even feel sorrowful. Let me tell you, brethren. Yes, and they gave me a gown. And they gave me that whole thing. And I put them on. As a graduate, because of the training I had done. But that does not make me a doctor. It does not make me a doctor. Maybe a later on as we continue, I might get it as a gift. I also want to do something to earn it, to achieve it. But here came a Nigerian. And he was selling uh, the doctor, the doctorship of calling. He called, it was first costly. At the end of the eight, he was selling it at that kind of amount. 200,000. 200,000. So our born again believers, our pastors, those who are easily taken, they were enticed easily and they, and they went. You pay 200, the man comes with the hook, and he puts it off. And he puts it on you. And he says, you are done now. You are a doctor. And all people, 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 Everest Freeman. Everest Freeman. <laughs> then you're all intimidated. And you start as well. Is there a doctor? doctor? Which doctor? A doctor for what? Doctor watch. A doctor for what? And the thing that gave me a hard time. To those that have be, not be they are those that just call it. But me, I have my friend who is struggling with the doctorate. He does not sleep. I don't even think they still have time for their family and wife. But even the wife gave him a chance. And he told and he said that he should re reject so Let me pass battle with the book. He is fighting with the doctorate. He's a man who takes different modules. He has to study 15 modules. 
you. But you can pay that one module. He has books. Very many books. Yeah. 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 He has to study all the books. He has to research about yeah. all of them. We thank God now he's done with the 12 modules so far. Can I tell you? I'm done with the 12 modules now. I done with the 12 modules now. I said, but now there are still three left. Okay, let us believe God. And you wake up in the morning. When the man has struggled with the book, and you get 200,000 like as if you're a doctor. And you say, you see, you become a doctor. And the man who is struggling with it, because he's a one day he sat in a certain conference. And they said, We are welcoming a man of God. Doctor, Reverend, Apostle, Bishop of Izumu. With all the titles mentioned before his name. Do you think someone who is sitting there with a genuine doctorate is able to listen to what you are going to preach? He knows your status very well that aside from being a doctor, you stopped at Mayeka in senior four. Busy Mungaba. 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 Busy Faith may faith bring a contentment in you. Not everything is yours. There are things you have to learn. But you also have your own. You should fight that. Don't fight that that does not concern you. You say amen. You say you should fight that that does not concern you. Do you know what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. The Bible says that to those who are honored, they should receive honor. And to those who are to be feared, they should fear it. And it means there is someone who God created and they are honorable. And another one. Do you know what I'm talking about? In a way of giving out honor. Not all of us. Our Pirato Namogamanti, Kale Gwekabaka. And Pilot answered, Yes, Nadamuti, or you get the Kubanga and Zekabak. For I am the king. The Nazari Ruecho. I was born for that quest. Echo Chechande Tamusi. For that cause, I was born. Take a Zamazima. To bring the truth. Pulio Amazima Uriet de Vosiri. And may everyone who is in righteousness hear my voice. Hey, hey. Akadia Kadako and Sikagamba. The next verse says, Pilate therefore said to him, I love that verse so much. What is truth? And before, he, before Jesus answered, Jesus said, Pilate therefore said to him, I love that verse so much. 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 I love that verse what the truth is. What did he say? In verse 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. So, Mr. We would accord this Mr. in a category of the slow learners. He does not learn easily what they teach. I cannot ask Jesus in chapter 18 what is the truth that he has mentioned it in chapter 18. But even Pilate was ashamed. He did not go deep. What does the Bible say? He says from that. He devised means. To give out honor. To see that he is not falsely accused. Not that he is not falsely accused. Chapter 19, verses 11. Yes, Pakumi, 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 Pakumi. Tutunulilo kwatula kwa mukama wa Yesu Christ. We are looking at the confessions of our Lord Jesus Christ. We chibanga mukama wa Yesu ya yatula. If our Lord had to confess, who are you who does not need to confess? 
Awo Pilato na mugamba nti. Toyogera nange. Toyogera nange. Are you not speaking to me? My Pilato yogera ngomu kuto. Toyogera nange. Are you not speaking to me? Toma yinga ni nobu yuzo wa kukuta. Do you not know that I have power to crucify you? Listen to the man who has the good confession. The man who has the good confession. I'm praying for you to have a good confession. I'm praying for you to be a great person. And Jesus answered. Are you not going? Do you not know that I have power to crucify you? And power to release you. Because the reason as to why he made such, such confessions is because Jesus was quiet. Sometimes you need to be silent because of the confidence you have. With the one who is speaking to you, you've undermined them. You should learn this. this. Don't, you should not have an answer to everything even though you know it. Something you should just despise them and ignore. So when he said this word, he answered yes, that you would not despise me. And he replied, that you could have Mister, no power. Mister, you should not put. You could have no power at all against me. Unless it had not been given to you from above. The one who has delivered me to you. That is why he has the greater sin. That is what they call the good confession. In 1 Timothy chapter 6. That you should make a good confession. As Jesus confessed before Pontius Pilate. That is what, what the Bible says. In your life as you're practicing the faith. Practicing also to be faithful. Also practice to be faithful. At a faithfulness. A data courage. A data determination. Courage is an opposite of fear. Yes. That was the character of Jesus. He was not afraid of anything. You know why most of you are afraid? You are afraid because you fear death. Anyone who is no longer af afraid of death, they are not afraid of death. In the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, he was not afraid of death. That is why he stood boldly and he made a good confession. In the life of our Lord Jesus Christ, he was not afraid of death. That is why he used to stand before the Pharisees boldly and he would make a good confession. That is why he stood before Kephas. That is why he stood before Herod. And he made a good confession. One day Herod sent for him to, to, to celest that man. The people that he had sent. Jesus told them, don't go back before and go to me. Go to me by name, but me let me give him a Go tell that fox. Who knows who Herod had sent? Do you think a leader can send someone who is minor? Herod sent for him and he was the commander. He would have sent someone with a high rank. I have sent someone who is a vice president. Or who is a vice president. Someone who is going to give him the direct information. Have you seen him? Have you told him? What has he reported to him? He has told us to tell that fox. That what did he say? He said that you should go and tell that fox. So am I the fox? Our Lord, we don't know, but that is what he told us. He was not afraid. He was not afraid. You be strong and be courageous. Faith to you. Your faith. May it overcome fear that you have in your life. May you start confessing words of victory. The fear that you is what hinders you from confessing. 
Kubanga fear egamba bweti bino bina asoba kabitia bina atandikirawo ewamwe byali bibaddeyo chitawe ali abina ani ali atuse ani ali agenze ne yagezaako yagenda juba bantu bali munsi che batambula people are in the world and they do not travel juzi nali e Kenya wabo wa David yo recently i was in Kenya at David's home ngande jo ite chirinyaga where they call chirinyaga we were in a pastor's conference. Ninety five percent of us were in Uganda. And ninety five percent of the pastors in the conference had never traveled to Uganda. And not only them. They had gone to Kenya now two times. Do you think I'm so much more than them? More than them, I took that step. Yeah, ma'am. But some of them, they see Uganda to be so far from them. That they, they say, where should I go? Who knows me there? What language would I go? The Bagandas might be fear. All those are fears. Where will I get to see? They think it is a lot of money. Yet it is very few shillings of Kenya to come to Uganda. And some of them, I told them, I'm going to give you a chance and I'll host you. You need to come and preach, but to also have a tour. As a tour. Some just need to be to Nama get to the Christmas party, even you as well. Put on your strength and have faith. You are losing out on chances. When a car runs out of fuel, more so those ones that used to be for money. When it is totally no out of fuel, and you refuel, you you refuse to start. Yet it's the fuel that you Because it has put in what they call the other air. But driver, but I used to see drivers that drove before me. He used to get the fuel. The fuel that is left in the generator. He used to put it in his mouth. He went to the carburetor. And he blows it there. He blows it there. He blows it there. In the carburetor. That the car should start. So most of the born agents we have. They are still on. They bring. Yes, they bring. They carry you with the word. He still needs some other fuel to blow into them in the carburetors. Yes, they bring. Yes, they bring. Yes, they bring. Our Lord Jesus Christ. He reached in his table. And he blew into them the breath of life. That is the nature of man. But I beseech you. I beseech you. I have blown into you the breath. We want to see faith do its work. May faith do its work. We see it bringing things in manifestation. Father, we pray that you will give us the words of faith. We pray that you will give us the words of faith. We pray that you will give us the words of faith. We pray that you will give us the words of faith. We pray that you will give us the words of faith. We pray that you will give us the words of faith. Faith they work for us. If we believe for things to work, they work. Work. if we confess them, they work. Oh God of heaven, the one who was the only 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 one and faith comes from here. Era mukama tato mulunja tagua. And Father everlasting. Ebi kola bi echi gamba na ebi deko. May the actions that back up this word be brought manifest. O kwa tu la kwechi gamba na ukuje. May the confession from the word come out. Wetu atu le ebi gamba bi kole. When we confess words, may they work out. Wetu be demonstrating atu bi dabi. May we make demonstrations. May we see. Wabedo kirisoko enja ulomuli nyari ayes. 
there be an unusual faith in Jesus Christ? There be confessions that are hard. There be confessions that are hard. We see our confessions be made manifest. We see our confessions come to be revealed. It was your servant Joseph who said to the children of Israel, who are in the land of Israel, he told him, me, I'm dying any time. But I assure you that God, my father and my ancestors he will surely come through for you. He will surely come through for you. And after confessing God, he also put an action to him. He told him, but I beseech you, my bones, please don't leave them in Egypt. You should go with them. Because he had heard the covenant. He had heard of the promises. He was subject to the law of Abraham. Na ye na ari imiri dam. Na agamba katuna yoki da. Again a chikola. Ela ne chikolo a chamber what day? Na kama ne lo chamber what day? Mutu alanga magumba gan. E mi a kwe jait. E jitari mitono. E chigamba chaya tuwa yusu. Ne chitu kiri akuba ganda. Ne chitu kiri akuba anabe. Ne chitu kiri akuba zukuru. E sel subize ne dabika. Ne bafu wa falau. E nyange ni. And they wrote by faith. What will be our colleague? By faith. What will be our colleague? I got on the one. Sabiaba said in Abacaza. What will be something that is done into them by faith? Kubanga. Because no one can please you unless the one who believes. And anything that brings someone to draw back to destruction is unbelief. And to say in your word that when they draw back to perdition, you're not pleased with them. But us, we are not of those who drop back to perdition. We are of those who believe for the saving of the soul. May everyone raise up on your feet. You make a good confession upon your life. You say, but me. But me. I am not of those who drop back to perdition. In destruction. But I am of those who believe. For the saving of the soul. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.